the violin, one of the world's most complex and mysterious instruments. With its beginning unknown, an ancestry that dates as far back as the Chinese dynasty, it truly is a timeless instrument. Literally. The violin has no cultural limit or genre boundary. It is free to be used by anyone or any culture. Two string bowed instruments played upright, strong and bowed with horsehair, originated from the nomadic equestrian cultures of Central Asia, such as the Mongolian Morn Hur and the Chinese Arhu. These are some of the first ever stringed instruments and first ancestors of the violin, dating as far back as a thousand years ago. A more direct ancestor of all European string instruments is the Arabic Rebab, which was later developed into the Byzantine Lyra and then the European Rebec. The first violin makers would have used all of these instruments as blueprints for what we know as the modern violin today. The medieval fiddle was one of the most respected instruments in the Middle Ages, along with the harp and the flute. The Lyra de Braccio emerged from the Renaissance period. Leonardo da Vinci is said to have played this instrument. These instruments were close relatives of the violin, however they differ with the viol having five strings and a more rounded body, and the lyra de Braccio with the wider fingerboard, flatter bridge, and seven strings. Andrea Monti, where a violin story officially begins. Or so we think. Like I said in the beginning, the violin's documented inventor and inventing is still unknown. However, it is thought that the first violin was created by Andrea Matti, an Italian master lute maker, in 1555, when the Medici family commissioned him to create a smaller wooden instrument that sounded as melodious as the lyre, but was more lighter and easier to transport. Later, the violin became very popular, and King Charles IX of France had Amati construct 24 violins in 1560 for his personal court orchestra. One of these 24 instruments, the Charles IX, is the oldest surviving violin. Cremona, Italy. The city of violins becomes one of the most important places for our violin story. Cremona has a rich history of master violin luthiers like Stradivarius, Amati, and Garnini that date back to the 16th century. Later in the 18th century, the violin undergoes a few minor changes to give us our modern day violin. Even though our violin history has brought us to classical Europe, it doesn't stop there. The violin has many roots in many different genres. To kick off our violin music styles, we have bluegrass, country, and folk. Here the violin is referred to as a fiddle. The style of playing here is more loose with lots of slides and fast runs up and down the scales. Famous fiddlers are Bobby Hicks, Michael Cleveland, and Charlie Daniels. The Indian classical violin is played more like our Arabic rabab. The violin is held in a lower posture, most of the time with not much collarbone or chin pressure, and there's lots of sliding on the fingerboard. Famous classical Indian violinists are Rajina, Shankar, and Subramaniam. Irish fiddles and Celtic violins are played typically alongside flutes and harps, and often have fast-paced jigs to accompany their performances. Famous Irish fiddlers are the Celtic women, Michael Coleman, and Johnny Daugherty. Classical violin, by far one of the most difficult to play with its rich history of technical repertoire, ranging from Beethoven to Stravinsky, Bach to Debussy, Mozart to Paganini. Famous classical violins today include Henry Hahn and Joshua Bell. Jazz violin is played with short bows and very little vibrato to make the melody line similar to a saxophone or vocalist. Famous jazz violinists are Regina Carter, Stuff Smith, and Billy Taylor. And now one of my favorite genres, electric violin. By far some of the most popular forms of violin music that I'm sure you have seen on YouTube, America's Got Talent, and even TikTok. Electro music is typically covered in pop songs that have simple melodies but when paired with pedal boards, flute pedals, and other effects that make for great live and street performances. Famous electric violinists include Taylor Davis, Brian King Joseph, and my personal favorite, Lindsey Sterling. Together, we have journeyed through the simple beginnings of the violin, such as the Chinese Arhu, to Italian violin makers of Cremona, to dancing electric violinists of today. The violin is simply timeless. Before ending our time together, I wanted to share with you a clip of a video that my dad showed me when I was eight years old, it was this very video that made me want to play the violin. Check it out.
today. I look forward to any questions you may have on the discussion board.